Hey guys, it's me again, and just popping on here to share with you guys what I've been working on as far as cross-stitch. So, work has been crazy. Um, we're, please, no. I'm trying not to let her bark in my videos because I've realized that when the dogs bark and there's crinkling and wrinkling and all those things, and somebody has headphones on, it hurts the ears. Please, I'll take you outside in a little bit. Anyways, so for, because I've been so busy at work and working extra shifts and being called into ex work extra shifts and all, I just would rather um, not have to use extra brain power to try to figure out where I am in my rotation and um, for cross stitch and then, you know, do I have all the stuff to work with? And so this month made it easy. And my friend, my good friend Jane in Denmark, um, suggested that. Well, she didn't, I don't know necessarily, she, she, she suggested, but she had mentioned that for the month of July, she was going to work on a Christmas project to do Christmas in July. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. So I joined her with that, and I went ahead and picked up my design works and I think this one it has a couple of different names on it so oh, ho oh holy night is what it says here but then when I open it inside for the pattern I think it says Christmas ABC. So anyways, it's number 5981. I had started this back in April, I think. And I want I was hoping to do it as a, like kind of like a stitch along and do it for 40 days or actually 40 days leading up to Easter and I just it went to the wayside unfortunately cuz you know everything crazy started happening. And, you know, and so being that I had to be at work and such, it just, it just, oh, I was tired and exhausted and I didn't get to work on it like I wanted to. So I decided to pick it up. And here it is. I'm sorry. This lighting is horrible. Ooh, maybe right there. So the last time I showed it to you guys, I had the camel or most of the camel or part of the camel done. But since then, I've put in a little ram and a cow. Baby Jesus is here, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, and I'm working on the manger. So there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. Uh, there's a lion and a lamb that need to be placed in here and some more greenery and Oh Holy Night. And that's just for this motif. There's some gold floss in here that I'm enjoying and I'm not sure if it's light effects or what it is, but I do not think it is Krennic or if it is pronounced in your neck of the words, Krynic. So there you go. I think once I get this whole area completed, then I will do a back stitch and that'll help it make it easier to see the cow's face and more of the detail. So let's see. Try to create space to get in here. There we go. So it's the H and the ABC and getting into here. So that's about it. I'm here in Utah. I got to spend some time stitching. Um, picked up my new car while I was here. I had ordered it in June and it's been about a month. So I was told it would take six to eight weeks to possibly get here once I ordered it and I was fine with it. I wasn't in a hurry. I still had my other car. I plan on keeping my other car. I figure it's paid for. So why not keep it? Um, 
So I got a phone call the other day and they said, your car is here, it just arrived. And luckily we were here in Utah, so I didn't have to be at, you know, in California going, oh my goodness, I want my car. So oh, I've, been, I've driven it around a little bit. It is a Dodge Challenger SRT wide body, the car of my dreams. I've been wanting this car for a very long time. Um, in fact, it so happened that when these cars came out, when Dodge was bringing these cars back out 12 years ago, I was waiting and waiting. They kept saying, they're coming out, they're coming out, they're coming out. You know, they're, we're bringing back the muscle car, we're bringing it out. And they brought them, they've started out with the sedan, which is the, cha uh, the Charger. And they hadn't brought out the Challenger yet. And I really wanted the Challenger because that's the two door. Well, it's a good thing I ended up getting the Charger because then shortly after that, along came my daughter and it was better in my opinion to have four doors than to have two trying to shove a baby in the back seat. I just don't think it just wasn't part of my plans. So it worked out really well. God knew what I needed and it worked out. It worked out very well. Anyways, so yeah. So now after all this time, I've decided I want a new car and it's time. So anyways, I was able to go to the dealership, put in an order and I mean, I've been playing with online and putting this on the car and taking that off and these stripes and the sunroof and just kind of doing whatever it was I wanted. I knew for sure I wanted a sunroof, but you know, it's like, do I want the stripes? Do I want this? Do I want, so yeah, got what I wanted, ordered it, and it is, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm excited about that. Um, we're moving more things over to Utah. So now all of my projects, all of my works in, in, in progress are gonna stay here. And I'm gonna maybe just focus for the rest of the year on one project a month. So for the, towards, for the end of this month, I'm gonna continue to work on um, this one here my Christmas ABCs because it's beautiful and I like it. And it's oh, it's relieving to be back to working with one, one. Although I do think about my other projects and when I look at them, I'm thinking, oh man, like they're so fun. I'm gonna pick up Gathering Honey again for the month of August because I would really like to get that one done. It's got a lot of work left to do on it. But, um. My plan is to work on that one, get as much as I can done for August, and then September, maybe find, you know, pick one or a couple that I might want to work on, maybe kind of go back to a rotation just for a little bit, just to give myself a breather or just change a pace and then get back to gathering honey for November. Um, actually, that's that'd be October, right? Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what I do. No big plans, I don't have to do anything, right? None of us have to do anything. Just kind of have fun and enjoy myself. I have been crocheting, as you guys can see. I'm still super new at it, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy that. It's easier for me to do in the car or to be on the go. I could put it down and basically pick it right back up and not have to wonder where I was. I kind of do, but anyways. All right, enough rambling. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This month wasn't so bad for me, I think, and hopefully it's not so bad where you are. Um, and if it is, I'm so sorry. Hopefully things will get better. I'm just hoping that they stay better. We've got a lot of nurses that are still getting sick. We just had another exposure. <sighs> so we didn't know the patient was um had covid until uh after she had been there for 24 hours and then we tested her and she's definitely positive and so unfortunately it caused a, a huge problem and uh, a lot of extra work had to be done because of it i can't go into details but um praying that she does well i think We've had a couple of really, really, really sick patients, like really bad, uh, just concerned that things look grim 
um, some do pretty well, which is good. I'm, I'm so grateful when we do see the ones that do better than the others because it's, it, you know, keeps you hopeful. And that's about it. Other than that, just trying to enjoy my time off. Oh, my shirt because Taryn said that it's important that if you have something on your shirt, you should explain it. So this says Team Team Gwen, Gwen Stefani. She was in the band, no doubt, and now she uh, has, she just sings, <laughs> I don't know what do you say, she sings by herself. She sings with her boyfriend, with um, Blake Shelton. Yeah, anyways, so when she was going through her breakup with her ex-husband, fool, <laughs> anyways, uh, the shirt came out, and so I picked it up and bought it from one of her concerts. But All right, you guys, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.